Hi, I am David Ezekiel, transitional pastor for the First Federated Church of Peoria. I just love watching our kids in these video shorts that comprise our yearly Advent calendar. And I absolutely adore it when parents try and help their smaller children, some who are just being bashful, some who are really unsure of themselves. But in the final analysis, they are teaching their child and they're helping to make a creative impact for their child's life. And in some of these instances about singing, they help the child to discover within themselves a song of life. Let me give you an example. Lula Mae Hardaway was born in 1930 to a teenage sharecropper mother who abandoned her to a string of abusive relatives. And she eventually moved north to find work and married a man 30 years her senior who forced her into prostitution in order to feed their growing family. Lula Mae fled her husband and took her young family to Detroit where she found work as a maid and took her children to church every week. And, but she was always very protective of her third son, Steveland, who was blind and spent much of his time indoors, teaching himself to play a variety of musical instruments. Steveland performed at church, becoming a neighborhood sensation and was discovered at age 11 by a Motown executive who gave him an album contract and a new name. Little Stevie Wonder. While Lula Mae is credited with co-writing several of Wonder's best loved hits, including Signed, Sealed, Delivered, I'm Yours, and I Was Made to Love Her, it's impossible to know for sure the full creative impact Mother had on Son. I wonder if the songs that became Stevie Wonder's hits started off as hums and improvisations around Lula Mae's house. Maybe the words, Here I Am Baby, started as a lullaby, a song of strength and survival in spite of seemingly insurmountable circumstances. It is also impossible to know the full creative impact of another woman's uh, <clears throat> song on her child's life, as Mary, gave music to her son, Jesus, in the very first chapter of Luke, which tells us that she sang a song that says, my soul magnifies the Lord. It is an incredible cry of faith and liberation. And it burst forth while Mary's child was still inside her, hummed in bits and pieces. I imagine the song was not silenced at his birth, but became the soundtrack for all of little Jesus's life. Like mothers in every time and place, she sang for comfort, for hope, and for survival. Her song became his song, and his song became the world's song. Let's pray. Oh God, sing us a lullaby, not to put us to sleep, but to wake us up to your hope for each of us and for the world. Amen and amen. Advent blessings to you this day.